our food varieties and sauce introduction food is the basic need of humans we need food to perform our daily activities such as walking running playing etc food also helps us to develop our body and recover our damaged body cells sometimes when we do not eat food for a long time we feel weak and exhausted so for proper functioning of our body we must eat food regularly functions of food food is important for life to be healthy and active we should certainly eat enough food in simple words food serves various functions in our body the main functions of food in our body are food provides energy for various activities of the body it provides material for repair of damaged cells and replacement of dead cells in the body it helps in body growth it also keeps us healthy and enables us to fight against infections food menu generally we eat our meal 3 times in a day breakfast in the morning lunch in the afternoon and dinner in the night we eat different food items in each meal our breakfast is different from our lunch and that differs from our dinner thoroughly if we make a list of all food items that we eat throughout the day this list of different food items is called food menu generally when we go to the restaurant we order food from food menu you should prepare a food menu of the items that you eat throughout the day food ingredients consider any dish eaten by you on regular basis for example chapati or bread a chapati is made from wheat flour atta by mixing water with the flour then kneading and rolling it to give the round shape and finally cooking it only two main ingredients are required to make a chapati wheat flour and water there are other dishes that require many ingredients for their preparation what about mixed vegetable or palak paneer to make these dishes we use different kinds of vegetables paneer salt spices vegetable oil or vanaspati ghee and water etc although most of the ingredients are brought from the market but the question is what are the sources of these ingredients food from plants as we know plants are the main source of food on the earth we get so many food ingredients like spices vegetables fruits grains cereals vegetable oil etc from plants green plants make their food from atmospheric carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight they produce more food than they need and store extra food in different parts of the plant body like stem root leaves and fruits the process of making food by the plants is called photosynthesis green plants are also called autotrophs as they make their own food non green plants human beings and animals cannot prepare their own food and depend on green plants for their nutrition they are called heterotrophs plants are also called producers sometimes you may have seen the fields of crops beside the road when going out of the city with your parents these crops are cultivated in large volume in the fields by the farmers we get cereals like pulses gram mustard and grain like wheat maize etc from these crops this method of cultivation of crops in large volume is called farming food obtained from different parts of the plant are fruits like banana mango apple stems like potato ginger sugarcane seeds like wheat pea rice leaves like spinach cabbage coriander roots like radish turnip carrot flowers like cauliflower broccoli food from animals plants are considered as the main source of food similar to them animals are also one of the important sources of food the food we get from animals 
are we get milk from cow buffalo goat and camel milk is used to prepare several products such as cheese butter ghee curd and ice cream we get eggs from hen duck and quail we get meat from hen duck goat fish and crab we get honey from honey bees honey bees collect nectar from flowers and take it to their hive there they convert it into honey and store it as food we get honey from bee hives the farming of bees done in a scientific manner to get continuous supply of honey is called apiculture food habits in animals we know that different living beings eat different types of food their body parts are adapted to the kind of food they eat herbivores are the animals that eat only plants buffalo cow deer and horse are herbivores they have sharp and flat cutting teeth in the front and grinding teeth at the back carnivores are the animals that eat the flesh of other animals lion tiger wolf dog eagle vulture etc are carnivores they have long and sharp teeth carnivorous birds have strong and pointed beaks to tear the flesh omnivores are the animals that eat both plants and animals humans are omnivores bear crow and cockroaches also fall under the category of omnivores some carnivores and omnivores are known as scavengers they mainly consume dead bodies of animals and help to keep the surroundings clean some examples are crabs jackals hyenas and vulture some bacteria and fungi break down the dead and decaying plants and animals they are called decomposers they feed on dead animals and plants present in their habitats food chain our environment consists of different species of plants and animals a goat eats grass leaves and flowers and gets eaten by a bigger animal like lion similarly a grasshopper eats green plants a frog eats grasshopper a snake eats frog and an eagle eats snake from the illustrated examples you see a series of living organisms which illustrates that who eats whom thus a series of living organisms is formed in which the next creature eats its earlier one thus the food of one living being is its precedent organisms in a series depend on each other for their food the series of living organisms is known as food chain we know that food on burning produces energy in a food chain living beings eat their predecessor as food you can also say that in a food chain energy is transferred from one animal to another in a single direction if you show all the possibilities of energy transfer among a selected group of species it is known as food web food chains and food web for different habitats are different but all types of food chains begin from green plants it means that all animals are indirectly dependent on green plants for food